obviously it's just a plastic wall, it's not an old wooden one. He was a Methodist minister, so we have got paid bugger all. I was kind of half hoping it, it might have had some really nice old old tools. A pair of clamps, <coughs> a pair of clamps. What's this? Oh, some files. No, oh, what that's this paper. Here we go. Oh, 2004. Not that old. Yeah. They're okay. I've been clean ages. What's in here? Oh, more files. So he's done some metal work and some woodwork. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. that's really nice. Beautiful. A pair of calipers. That's really, really nice. Now this is... Oh, this is for sharpening blades for planes. That's a nice piece. There's another one the same. Ah, there's... As I say... Oh, that's... Yeah, there's... I haven't found a stone. Smoked a pipe, the old boy. Here we are, some more drill bits. Oh, that's for breaking up concrete. That's a flex saw. Part of a oh, plain blade. You want oh, another chisel? Oh, yeah, it's pretty old. Brass parts come off. That's been well used. Sweden, Wallens. A bit of a nick out of the blade. It's been rattling around in that box. Hasn't done it any good. Oops. Oh, this is nice. Here's a straight line, a, a chalk line. I've got another one of these. Not the same. That's what the chalk's for. We put the chalk in here, you've got the line in there stretch it out, twang it, and it gives you a straight edge. We're doing um, uh, bricks, I think. A bit beyond me. Well, there we are, the pop rivet gun. Still in its bag, in its box look, $32.60, minor 10. I'll see if it's better than mine. With mine, it, pinch, it, it pinches the skin on your hands. Bloody cheap piece of Chinese shit it is. Oh, here's some serious masonry bits. Serious ones, those. Oh, oh, here we are. Two more chisels. Marples. Not quite sharp, is the. the <laughs> that one's got a rounded edge, and this one's at an angle. He's about as good at sharpening them as I am. Don't know what my... Oh, here we are. Uh, ooh, cut a bit small. Ooh, can't read that. That's a nice little fret saw. The Ding Dong Junior saw frame. <laughs> the Ding Dong Junior. <laughs> bit like the little ripper. Oh, that's really nice. Here's some spanners. English. English. Drop forged India. Oh. Got forged India. Got a pair of side cutters. I've got a name on, I can't read it. Uh, 
more screwdrivers. think there's anything much particular interest in here. A few Stanley knives. Old long nose pliers. Maybe he painted all his tools red. I used to paint all mine yellow. Sheffield. England. Yeah, it's a pretty good pair of long nose pliers. A little bit of a wobble, but they still meet pretty well. Oh, there was a pair of scales in there. Oh, looks like someone's painted them because they've painted over the um, label here. Might have taken them apart. And oh, he did brewing and winemaking, so it might have been part of his kit for that. Oh, I didn't find a charger for this. Bugger. No, I've got one, but I don't know if that'll fit it. It's useless without the charger. What a shame. That's why the good old hand draw is the best. Because it'll never ever not go, even if the power's out. It'll keep going. So, that's it. Oh, the two ladders, of course. Oh, and this. So you put a put a drill in there and it acts as a drill press. Yeah, that's very handy. It's a good piece of kit. So that was interesting. Nice old lady. Very sad to hear about the old boy. He had cancer six years. She was with him every day for six years. In the end he lost his mind wouldn't take him at the hospice. He'd had prostate cancer and he'd had 36 radiation treatments and then that caused all kinds of other problems. So it was pretty sad story to hear. Still his tools will go to good homes. She was very glad to be able to pass them on. She didn't know what to do with them otherwise and I'm afraid that that probably happens a lot all the women's stuff goes to the hospice and most of that gets chucked out as we well know but you don't see any of the men's things whether they go at garage sales or, or just get chucked out because the grandkids aren't interested in this stuff well there we are we'll see what happens next tune in for the next big adventure might be painting the house and it won't be much fun. Oh, I found a new hat today across the road on the bench. I don't like wearing those stupid baseball caps anymore. So I've got this one. I might change the band or put something on it. I'd rather have it a darker colour because it'll get grubby. Catch up with you soon. Ow. Oh shit, that hurt. Oh, Jesus.